Hi there, welcome back. We've got episode number 10. It's called Negotiations. Um, that's probably Amy, right? And Corpora and um, Maya, right? The new district manager. Something to do with that, maybe. I can see Cheyenne and Amy in the thumbnail. So I don't know. I don't know why Cheyenne would be involved in any of those negotiations. But yeah, doesn't necessarily mean that she is right. But yeah, we'll see. Let's get to it. Make sure the negotiator pushes for maternity leave. That's important. And holiday pay. Here, to remind you. It's all in the union proposals. Oh, okay. Union negotiation. I promise to text you updates as soon as I can. Yes, please. Even if it's bad news, it's okay. Sorry I'm late. Terry had never seen me in a blazer, so the morning got a little busy. No, oh, no. Cool. Jesus, dude. TMI. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Joe looks sharp in his suit. He's going to love this, Jonah, isn't he? Nah, this junk needs to go in the trash. Nobody's buying it. <laughs> More like no one's selling it. But I'm just saying, I was the best salesperson in the store. He won Employee of the Month a lot, didn't he? If you sell yours first, <laughs> I'll take over your bathroom trash duty for three months. <laughs> okay, I'm in. Surprised Glenn doesn't like doing that. What's up with the tree? We doing a dystopian nightmare Christmas this year? No, some raccoons just went ham on it in storage. <laughs> Can't get rid of these raccoons. What happened to this tree? Seems like some raccoons definitely had sex in it. <laughs> or with it. With it. <laughs> Jonah Sims from store 1217. Oh my god, I'm worried for Sandra. <laughs> you look just like you sound. Yeah, I, I get that a lot for some reason. <laughs> I talk for a living. You guys do real work. And I plan to get you paid for it. Well, it's about time. Because they've pushed us around for too long. <laughs> They just kept pushing and pushing, and they're about to find out what happens when I get to the edge. <laughs> I I'm said, passionate too. It just I knew it. Manifests. <laughs> they're just gonna have to keep a lid on us, I will. I have found your item right here. Oh, it's either a pig-shaped shoe or a shoe-shaped pig. They're never gonna shift that. This is a bad <laughs> thing. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> no problem. Tony Danza popcorn machine. Okay, well, at least mine serves a purpose. This yeah. pops. That's an easy sell. Tony Danza brand popcorn cartridges. Better who that is, though. Cartridges oh. not included. <laughs> okay, maybe not. How's Jonah doing out there? Crushing it? God, you ever look at that guy and get so proud you have to look away? Well, all <laughs> I know so far is that he's got parking. Mark is getting creepy again. Don't worry. If you text me first, I'll download you. That's it. What's the scoop on the poop? <laughs> Nothing yet. Jonah texts whichever one of us. Gut says me. It's not going to be you. I've seen his favorites. You're not in there. <laughs> what? Hi, Sammy. <laughs> Guess who's going to be cleaning this up all afternoon? Come on, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Devastated. Is your chair a little bit low? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna... oh. I thought she was going to shoot up like really high. I think it's just make it clear. <laughs> what do this what is going to sit up? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> The workers have voted to make health care priority one, right? Right, Sandra? Yep. I mean, I <laughs> applaud you for trying, but we're not paying 100% of premiums. Okay. Maybe a more workable number is 70. She went low uh, quick. 90. Down to 70. Just... <laughs> yeah, I think this one's broken. <laughs> Sandra's going to need that. Oh, Amy, how's union stuff going? I know what you know, Janet, which is nothing. <laughs> Jesus. But when there is news, <laughs> I, uh, well, I'll tell you first. Oh, you're like a rich lady tense right now. <laughs> rich lady tense. How about I go buy us a Christmas tree because this isn't one. Great, I'll warm up the truck. <laughs> Cheyenne, let's go. She is just the kind of sucker to pay through the nose for a Douglas fir and then come back with an eastern white pine. <laughs> it's true, Amy. You totally would. <laughs> Okay, fine, whatever, let's just go. Does it need three of them to go get a Christmas tree? Supposed to carry it, maybe? Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Oh. That one's perfect. We can't just... That's a tree. Like a tree tree. <laughs> Tina's going to chop it down. If you have any problems, my man Tony's email is right here on the box. Check it out. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we'll be answering that. Am I trying this on? Mm. Sure. <laughs> No problem. Sabotaging. I don't remember you ever talking about a friend named Eric Chris. Oh, he just moved here. He's an archaeologist. Oh my god. Mm, no, <laughs> thank you, but this is all wrong. Yeah, thanks. I'm I'm just browsing today. Oh, come on. But no, you have to buy one of these. Yeah, browsing's for cowards, dude. <laughs> for cowards. I'm sorry, to be clear, you want the workers to buy safety equipment for your stores. Yeah, maybe maybe we could pay your salaries. How much do you make? Maybe I could go get my checkbook. <laughs> I saw 
some bagels out there. Let's take a five. Probably best. <laughs> Sandra just saw that chair out. This will be the first legal thing I've ever done in the woods. No, guys, what if one of us gets hurt? <laughs> first legal I have to worry about today. <laughs> the only thing without bow, probably. You don't have to go oh. full fell. If you don't like it. Why did she bring an axe with her? I don't want to know. Fine. One swing for Dina. Now you're not going to want to hit it straight Amy, on. Really? Okay. Ooh. I guess I see the appeal. <laughs> eat my no. Getting into it. Who wants to eat an axe? They're gonna get arrested. Oh, they? Can suck it. <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> Going the, the right way at least. Not onto them. Oh, he's gonna have the last finisher. <laughs> <Sosa. laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're gonna need more than just those three to carry this thing. There's no way. <laughs> They're gonna realize this. <laughs> okay, so um, to get it inside. <laughs> Are you looking for a fancy way to display your pig-based sauces? You hate it. Okay, <laughs> I can see that. Sorry to waste your time. I get it. I work in sales myself. No kidding. Well, beachfront timeshares in Fort Lauderdale pretty much sell themselves. Yeah, this one's a bit of a tougher sell than beachfront property. Perfect vacation getaway. Really? Oh, Glenn's gonna end up buying off her. <laughs> Must be pretty pricey, though. You would think, but it actually turns out to be much cheaper oh, Glenn. than a hotel. She flipped no. on you. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> if I gave you my email, is there any way that I could get more information? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much about as bad as it could go. I suggest we. Ah. Oh my god. Oh, are you? Oh my god. Uh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Is that deliberate? <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. So, oh. Really bleeding. I chopped down a tree, by the way. What? Why? Because I wanted to. Well, I didn't want to at first, but then Dina made me want to, and then Cheyenne gave me an axe, and... Okay, I'll want to know more about that. Look, you, <laughs> you know what we want. Just see what you can get. We can do this. Yes! Yes, you can! You are smart! You got this! I love you. Thank you. Gotta go. Bye. Oh, I love you. Oh, Amy, the tree! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, shit! If you follow <laughs> the news, you know that microwavable sweaters are the leading cause of nipple cancer. It's really? true. It's, it's really a fact. <laughs> oh, oh, they've put the power out that mains power for the whole area. We have a power outage. Lack of electricity. Technically, it's still in here in the walls, but we can't get it out via the wires. Yeah. Thanks, right. Marcus. So evidently a, a tree <laughs> fell and hit a transformer box. Weirdly. That <laughs> is literally all we know. <laughs> It's going great. Yes, the union negotiator had to step out for the afternoon, but Jonah and Sandra have got it covered. Oh, no. So it's just the two. Oh, it's going to cut to the <laughs> by themselves with no grown up. <laughs> no grown up. <laughs> I feel like Sandra might swing this somehow. We may be floor workers, but we're not morons. I I actually went to business school, and I'm engaged to be married. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> yeah. We still can't afford rent or or to go to a doctor when we're sick or to to buy a car in, instead of taking five different buses to work. Five buses, really? The 34 to the 66. It's under dust. The 94 <laughs> to the 70 to the 58. But she's got a car. She just doesn't ask for it back. <laughs> Look, this stuff is, is kind of complicated. We'll make it simple for you. Do better or we go on strike. No. <laughs> They weren't expecting someone like Jonah at this meeting from the store. We're going to take a sidebar. That's some sort of note you're passing. You're all going to go. Huh. Okay. Don't get scared now, Jonah. Stick to Are your you guns. Shopping? I thought all the customers had left. Well, I really need ice cream cones. <laughs> you stay right here. You're not getting out of this store without a pig shoe. <laughs> Get out of there while you still can. You like popcorn, but wish the oh, process no. was more complicated. There Bye. is the man born to wear the sweater. I really just need ice cream cones. Hello again. Fox, leave me alone. It's no, no. Get away from me. I hope Jonah knows not to take the first offer because a lot of the time, that's actually the worst one. Thanks, Side. Sorry, Marcus just say. Is that a Christmas tree? That's such a fun guess, Cheyenne. I would have guessed maple, but that's just me. Someone should be writing these down just to see who gets closest. Dean. <laughs> I guess we should call it a draw. Yeah, it's too bad. I bet someone would have really loved this. I mean, it's so warm and soft. Mm, Glenn, no. Oh, like a Glenn, belly. don't buy it. Also, is it getting chilly in here? Glenn, you know what he's doing, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're just 
talking. It might be nice to oh my warm God. up like Coco and just snuggle in. <laughs> that does sound nice. Glenn, look at me. Mm -hmm. You gave Mateo that sweater because it's terrible. It's clever from Mateo, though. Get into Glenn. Great color. <laughs> it's medium. Medium? <laughs> that used to be my size. <laughs> used to be. <laughs> I blew it, didn't I? I did. I did. I blew it. We'll talk things over. If I could just say... No need. We've decided to accept your proposals in full. Expect a memo of understanding from legal soon. What's the catch? Does that mean... I, uh... I think so. Okay. <laughs> it's gotta be a catch, surely. I heard that teens are going around chopping down trees these days. It's called <laughs> lumberjacking. I saw it on 2020. It's weird, but it's true. <laughs> they made a deal. Oh my God, they did it. <laughs> yep, he texted me too. Got it a couple minutes ago. Didn't want to make you feel bad. <laughs> Safe. <laughs> Glenn. Everything frozen in groceries melting. Sure, thanks. <laughs> Aren't you lactose yeah, intolerant? to go to waste. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. I told Bo <laughs> to sleep at his mom's house tonight. <laughs> Can't turn down a freebie. You were convinced I was gonna blow it this morning. No, I wasn't. Yep, call me when you lose. Okay, bye. Okay, that is not what I said. <laughs> I... Maybe thought it just a little bit because we always lose. Because corporate sucks. I feel like they might have lost here. Something's wrong. Something doesn't feel right. Not you. You did it. Come on. We did it. Oh. Sandra <laughs> and me. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah. Should call her back. How's the sound? Ugh. Oh. about the union. <laughs> Amy going to lose her job or something. I don't know how, but... What? Yeah, we were oh. acquired by this big tech company, Zephra. I guess it's been in the works. They finalized it this afternoon. This afternoon? During the negotiations, yeah. Oh, and that's the why they accept. The new company doesn't have to recognize the union contract, so our people were just like, go ahead, agree to whatever. <sighs> really? So, everything our employees thought they won. Gone. They tell me nothing, but for now, I just wanted to let you know, no more union. Hey, I gotta go make a bunch more calls, okay? I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Oh. oh. Oh, there you are. Dina busted up the oh, car. Oh, Jeremy's gonna stuff. be devastated. Watch, I made the finals. Yeah, actually, oh, I... Hold on, hold on. She's not gonna Here. tell him. I don't wanna I'm not gonna give her a chance to. I, I, I wanna keep it as a memento. I know it's dumb, but I don't know. Today was a good day. Yeah, she can't it tell was, him now. It was a great day. Oh, bless no, her though. No, no, no. I got first. Did the right thing. She needs to tell him, but not right now, right? Money that she's letting him enjoy the moment, and it, it'll be even harder, won't it? The further he goes into thinking he's done it. Oh my god. Okay, Maya. I'm so disappointed in Maya. Like, she's probably under pressure, but she was almost gleeful about that, right? So that's why I'm disappointed in her because. I feel like she's nice, but at the same time, yeah, I think she's probably just under pressure just to, you know, keep Amy in line. And she didn't need to be like that. She was kind of almost sarcastic with that, wasn't she? She said, oh, sorry at the end, but yeah, really, Maya, I'm not sure you are. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I knew something was up. <laughs> I knew something was up. There's no way they'd bend that easily and that quickly, right? Okay, well, it was a good one. Um, not the funniest one ever. Maybe the least funny one out of all of them, but it was still funny. It always is, right? I'm worried about Dina. Is that normal to have a, an axe in a truck? Like, for someone like Dina, or someone like Dina, it probably is. It's probably normal for Dina to have an axe anywhere. I think she once threatened someone, a lawyer or something, right, and said that she had an axe at home. So that was obviously either a second one or that was the axe. Yeah. But I don't know. It depends where you live, I guess. If you live in you know, a rural area, I guess, in America, it's quite wild in places, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe, you know, carrying an axe in your car is normal. I don't know, but it doesn't seem it. But OK, I'm not sure if it would be legal here. I mean, obviously, if you had a reason to, it would be a bit like for here. If you have a, like a baseball bat in your, um, uh, what do you call it in America? Um, uh, oh, my goodness. Um, what do we fucking call it? A boot. We call it a boot. I'm, I've forgotten what we called it then. The storage bit at the back of the car. Yeah. Um. If you carry a baseball bat, you could potentially get in trouble with the police if they pull you over and they find it. Yeah. If they find, say, if you store one in there and you drive around just habitually with a baseball bat in your car, 
um why you would for, for protection i guess but yeah it's not really normal a normal thing to do it depends where you live i guess but if the police catch you doing that you're in trouble unless you have like a ball with it or a mitt or something so it, it you know it's obvious that you've got it in there because you play baseball right but if it's just the bat you're in trouble so i'm wondering about an axe do you also do you have to like prove that you need it for your job or maybe you, something you do in your spare time or something i don't know i'm just trying to think if you're caught with an axe here i don't think it'd be good for you <laughs> unless you're like a farmer i guess or so or, or a lumberjack you know someone who deals with trees and stuff then fine probably you can prove why you've got it you can prove there's a reason why you got it but if you're just carrying an axe randomly and there's no specific reason or you can't give one i'm thinking you, you're probably going to be in trouble but maybe not like i said i'd like to know actually that's, that's why i'm asking what's it like what's the rule and what's the law in the u.s Again, probably depends where you live and what you do normally and if you can, you know, give a reason for it, a similar situation, I guess. I'm guessing anyway. I don't know. Maybe it's normal. Maybe it's normal. Maybe, do you need a license for that, like a gun? Do you need a license for an axe to carry one around? I don't know. I don't know why I'm obsessing over this, but I just found it a bit weird that Dina had one. Not really that Dina had one specifically because she's even mentioned about an axe before, like I said, but I just find that whole concept a bit weird. But like I said, unless you're, you know, chopping down trees regularly or something or you need it for some other reason i can't think of what other reason you'd need an axe for though in your car but maybe spade maybe but yeah that's for you know when there's like like episode of the blizzard right you'd need one then yeah spades normal i think but an axe not so much i thought it was going to end with glenn actually buying that i guess it probably did i, I think that's probably implied so mateo probably won that i guess Mateo's is clever. He's a good salesman. He knew he should have done that immediately, but he he knew he worked it out that Glenn Glenn's the target. He's such an easy target. Like we found out with that lady, right, trying to sell the property. <laughs> I knew, I knew he was going to start taking an interest in that. That's hilarious. He's trying to sell this pig, and he's actually she's flipped it on him, and you know she turned the tables on him completely, like a a proper salesman. She's she's good at it, right? And yeah, he's such a sucker, Glenn. Oh my god i don't even want to think about how many like email lists he's on just because he can't say no right i honestly thought sandra's going to be the one to break them actually it turns out nobody broke them because they sold the company but yeah i mean what did they say it was a uh, an it company or something a computer company does that wait does that mean that i didn't think of this why didn't i think of this does that mean cloud nine's done or probably more likely they're just gonna yeah keep the stores and they're branching out into yeah retail stores i guess and it depends maybe they've got retail stores already this computer company i don't know but okay so they're probably going to get some sort of rebranding right so maybe they're going to get the name changed but yeah i mean why else would you buy out a superstore like that if, if you're in if you're if your line of business is in computing yeah they're gonna they haven't bought that the company to turn it into a computer thing have they so they're obviously going to continue being the company they are i guess or at least sell the same kind of things so yeah maybe they'll get a new name possibly probably change it somehow It'll probably be a slight tweak i imagine there'll be some computer thing involved maybe yeah they do that they sell like um uh laptops don't they in the in the store so yeah it's not that unusual i guess they're probably going to sell more and more techie stuff now as well, aren't they? I guess. I don't know. But a big change like that is always a worry, isn't it? If you work for the company, you don't know what's going to happen, you know? Are they going to make cuts? Are they going to change the, the your hours? Are they going to change the job completely? Is it going to, you're going to have to retrain in certain things? Probably that kind of thing happens. So it's a, it's a stressful time when you're just a shop floor worker, when something like that happens. Yeah, you're kind of in limbo until you know, until they tell you what exactly what their plans are. And yeah, you worry. I feel like Amy's kind of being pushed and pushed and pushed into maybe going down the path of, is this job for me? Because they've just screwed her over, haven't they? They were kind of putting pressure on her and now Maya's kind of being a dick about it. And yeah, it's just, it's just a new company now, isn't it, as well? So yeah, I don't know. I feel like Amy's... I'm reluctant to say regretting the decision to become manager because she's on a lot of money, right? But who knows where what's going to happen with her job and, you know, if her pay scale changes, I don't know, it's possible. Is it legal to do that? Probably not. But yeah, there are ways to kind of make her, you know, leave if they have to and 
employ someone else on less money, right? It's possible. Yeah, so I don't know. Nothing's working out for Amy, is it really, since she became manager? I mean, she's doing a pretty good job, I think. I mean, I, it hasn't really been said, but I don't know. Is it less chaotic without Amy? Probably not, but it's a comedy show, so it can't be. But she's definitely a better manager than Glenn, right? Definitely. So, yeah. She's done well, I think. But yeah, I just worry because I think she needs job satisfaction, Amy. I think she does. Uh, some people wouldn't. They just take the money and whatever. They'll just show up and just go through the motions of the job, you know. But I don't think Amy's like that. I think Amy's... I think that's why she's attracted to Jonah because I think they're similar. I think they're quite similar, actually. Yeah, they, they like to do what's right and, you know, life needs to be meaningful and it's important. Things are important to them, you know, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens with Amy. We'll see. And with the store now and with the company. So, yeah, I mean, there's quite a long way left in this season. If this was the last season, I'd be thinking, oh, okay, you know, everyone's going to leave or something or they're going to shut their store down, but, you know, making cuts and stuff or something like that would happen. But, yeah, I'm not sure now. There's quite a number of episodes left still. So, yeah, anyway, um, good episode. Really good one. Not the funniest one, but pretty funny, but I enjoyed it. And yeah, hopefully you'll join me for episode number 11. See you then. See ya. Bye.